it's me Dina and today I have two milestones that I wanted to talk about. Um, first one uh, is I uploaded my first video on YouTube one month ago. Um, I made it a few days before I uploaded it. I made it on my first day of quarantine and um, I uploaded it and that was the best decision ever. I am also celebrating the milestone of uh, 500 subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. Um, I don't want to get so into that because um, it, it really has changed a lot for me. It's given this, it's, it's, this community is beautiful and I am pleasantly surprised by it all. Um, so thank you for making this one look crazy exciting and super fun. So I do a lot of role plays as you know. But, um, I wanted to do, I asked a couple of days ago for, like, um, if you have any questions so I can do a Q&A video. And I got some questions that I'll answer about me. I got this just over here, that's why I'm looking down. Um, I feel like I do a lot of role plays, so maybe you don't get to know me <laughs> that well. I, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I do come up, like, pretty, like, I don't know, um, I just thought it'd be cool to ask if there were any questions out there, so let's get started. First question. How old is your cat? Um, Boaz, my kitty, is three, I think. I think she's three. She went through, um, like I found her on the street. Uh, she went through uh, her teenage phase not long ago where she would just ignore me all the time and not want to talk to me and like look out the window when it's raining and play sad music well I would play sad music for her because like obviously she wanted it um so yeah like the fact okay she might be four three or four because when I brought her into the vet they said that she was around one I, I don't really remember um but yeah I'm not 100% sure but she's still young she's still my baby and forever will be my baby <laughs> The next question, if you could collab with one big ASM artist, who would it be? Um, if I had to get to, to collab, maybe uh, Southern ASMR Sounds. <laughs> I mentioned her a lot, I love her. Um, I think I would want to collab with her, I definitely want to do a role play, because she seems really fun to do role plays with. Or uh, another one would maybe be Gracie. Uh, she just seems really sweet. And uh, I really like her stuff too. She's really, she seems like she has a really nice vibe to her. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like a really cool personality and maybe with her too. So, but one of those, I'm not too sure. <laughs> There's a lot of people I want to work with. If you are equally tired and hungry, would you eat first or sleep first? Um, I would definitely. I'm tired, like I'm not eating. <laughs> I'm way too lazy to eat when I'm tired. But um, a fun fact about me: uh, sometimes I have like snacks next to my bed, and um, if I go to bed really, 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 really tired, really tired, then um, I notice that I snack at night. I don't know if I wake up. I think I wake up and then I eat. I don't remember waking up like it's kind of like sleep eating <laughs> I think it's something like that but um definitely would go to sleep first that's an interesting question <laughs> so thank you uh, I'm not saying who asked these questions because uh I didn't say I would and privacy reasons maybe the next time I'll mention that oh do you want to be in the fridge really um but that was all from the same person so thank you <laughs> that's a funny question uh who is your favorite favorite musical artist? Marilyn Manson. I know that's like a bad, but Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson, 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 Marilyn Manson. Hundred percent Marilyn Manson. If you are a Marilyn Manson fan, please acknowledge yourself. Please make yourself known to me. Um, I fucking love Marilyn Manson. My favorite album of his is uh, Mechanical Animals, for sure. Oh my gosh, I can talk about it forever. Uh, favorite song, probably Fundamentally Loathsome. Uh, it's an amazing song. Um, 
um, what else? Um, definitely listen to him. Uh, one of his newer songs, Cupid Carries the Gun, is also really cool. Um, I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> I started listening to him when I was um, 15, and I've been obsessed ever since. What is your favorite alcoholic drink? Um, a Bloody Mary. I make a sick Bloody Mary. I started getting into them um, but through flying, because <laughs> it tastes really good. When you fly, like my advice, um, next time you fly to get a Bloody Mary, because they're really good in the air, and I make really good Bloody Marys, and it's just the one I go to. It's like the safe option for me at, at bars. <laughs> so that is my like favorite one, but um, yeah, in terms of like what I drink the most, I'd say like maybe white wine. It's pretty basic. <laughs> when did you get into ASM? Um, I got into ASMR, like, I first, so, I first found out about ASMR, oh, 2010, 2011, I was in 8th grade, I think I was 13, I don't really remember how old I was, and, um, I remember, like, I Google everything, I Google everything, and I was trying to, like, I remember I kept getting this, like, tingly feeling sometimes, and I, I, I mean, I knew certain things would make it happen, like, you know, when you're little and your friends play with their hair. Your hair. Some of their hair. I don't know what they like whatever you're into. Or, I don't know, like, certain teachers whispering to you, like, during, when you're in the library. I don't know, I noticed that I started getting tingles, 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 tingles was the perfect word for it. So, I googled that tingly feeling. I didn't really come up with anything, but then I went on YouTube. And I googled that tingly feeling. And one of the first videos that came up was something called ASMR. I was like, this is going to be it. I clicked on it and it was awesome. I wish to this day I could find that video. It was so long ago. It was like such a small thing back then. Um, not too many artists. I mean, this was somebody... I, there was no video. It was just audio of someone talking about the seaside from 2010. So if any of you find that. Um, but then I spent the whole night, I remember that night, I think I spent, yeah, the whole entire night, um, watching ASMR. <laughs> like, not even sleeping, just watching it. And it was really good for me because, um, I started, like, because I would go to bed really late usually, but I had to start waking up early to walk my dog, um, around that time, so I would be able to go to bed super early when I found out about it. And it was something that I've just listened to since then, um, I have periods for like weeks I don't listen to it and then I mean I get in and out of it but now lately I've been super into it and yeah so definitely it was one of the best best nights ever my ASMR virginity what do you love the most about doing ASMR uh I think I love doing the role plays I get to play dress up. I know I'm kind of dressed up now. That's because of a family thing soon. Um, but I, uh, I'd say the role plays are my favorite thing about doing ASMR um, because you get to dress up and like I never make a script script. I don't write it down. Um, like it's improvised, but it's like I have an idea in my head what I want to do. Um, so that's definitely like my favorite thing to do with ASMR. And other than that. Um, also the community, I, I did not expect it to be so lovely and loving and friendly and amazing. I, I just didn't expect that. I kind of thought that if I was going to upload videos, it'd be like a one-way street, like I just upload them. But no, I don't feel like that way at all with ASMR. Not the ASMR, ASMR community at least. So, both of those things. What music do you love listening to the most? Um, it's pretty similar to the other question, but Marilyn Manson. And, um, but the music I listen to, I listen to everything. So, my favorite is Marilyn Manson, but I also love Paris Hilton. <laughs> I love her. Um, Nikki, Nicole Richie, Nikki Fresh, is now out, and she's now, like, making this trap music. It's really funny. Um, that's more of anything, but yeah, I love that. Um, Foo Fighters, I love the Foo Fighters. Um, 
Britney Spears. Yeah, really like anything. I like early 2000s music a lot, and I like, um, yeah, I like that. I mean, I like, I love Marilyn Manson, but for some reason, I mean, when I tell people I like Marilyn Manson, they assume I like other stuff of that genre, but I, I don't, um, as much. I don't know why there's something to do with him and his lyrics that I love. <laughs> Uh, do favorite movies and TV shows. Um, my favorite movie franchise, as you may have noticed, is The Purge. Also, a really good TV show, The Purge. I love it. I love it. I love The Purge, The Purge, The Purge. And if you haven't watched The Purge, you should. Um, maybe just watch season two if you're not sure about it yet. Or, but um, yeah, I love The Purge. Um, Favorite movie franchise, definitely. I also love, um, one of my favorite movies is Captain Phillips. Um, I, I thought the acting was incredible. I read a lot about it. Um, and, um, I read a lot about, like, how the movie was made and Steven Spielberg, um, the main Somali pirate, uh, the actor was so nervous about meeting Tom Hanks that, um, they actually, when they shot the scene, that is when they first met because he wanted this actor to have that kind of, um, that nervousness shows showing. Uh, I I love I love that movie so much. Um, yeah, I love a lot of them. TV shows, The Office. <laughs> the Office, of course, I've watched it like a million times. The IT Crowd, holy crap. Um, I think I've been to it twice since quarantine. <laughs> I've like rewatched episodes twice since quarantine. Um, I'm just like making sure I get everything. Love the IT crowd, um, the in betweeners. Um, right now, I'm watching Homeland. White Gold is also really good. I like that show. The Good Place, I liked. I didn't like the ending. Um, yeah, it was okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do in your free time? This. This whole month has been my free time, <laughs> but uh, generally, uh, I would play the ukulele. I like to play the ukulele a lot in my free time, or watch movies, um, or read. Those three things. Um, I feel like I have a lot of free time now, so it's kind of hard. Like, just what do you do? <laughs> uh, what do you want to be? when you grow up. I want to, I don't know. I want to definitely work um, in the business side of the aviation industry. It's something that I really love. Um, and I think I would be quite creative in it. Um, so I definitely want to work for the aviation industry, I think. Um, if not that, something in marketing. Um, I, or I was thinking about even going to law school, but um, after my bachelor's, I'm not sure yet. Um, That would be a pretty cool dream job, but no, <laughs> I'm not too sure what I want to do exactly. I definitely want to do something in business and aviation, that, that would be the dream, but um, we'll see how to get there and stuff. Uh, I also find the telecommunications industry really interesting, so something, you know, like that businessy. What is your favorite moment about the ASMR community? Um, what's your favorite moment? I think um, one of my favorite moments since I started when I flipped the questions uh, is when I got the Twitter account and I saw like how big the community is there and um, getting to know people there. I think that was like a really fun moment. Or um, I mean, it's, there were so many cool moments, but <laughs> hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> What's your favorite trigger? Um, favorite trigger are whisper lullabies. I love whisper lullabies. Whispering is my biggest trigger. Oh, I love whispering. And this, like, I have to have my hair, but 
mainly whispering um, and talking. I don't like it that much when videos don't have talking. I, I sometimes listen to them, but definitely whispers. And role plays, role plays specifically. Um, and what got you involved with ASMR? Quarantine, bitches. <laughs> And I've always wanted to do it. I actually, um, I made my first ever ASMR video in 2018. I still have it on my phone, but I never posted it. Um, I was thinking maybe I should. Uh, if you think I should post it, let me know. Maybe I will. Maybe, maybe I will. You can see little 2018 Dina trying to ASMR and then getting too scared to hit the account. Uh, and the last one is who do you get the most ASMR inspiration from? Okay, uh, that is Southern ASMR sounds, for sure. Um, she's very diverse, and I think I've gotten a lot of inspiration from her. Um, Grace V as well, that is another one. Um, other than that, I don't really know. Um, I do try to do my own thing, but I would say my biggest inspiration is Southern ASMR sounds, because um, I love, like, how... I moved my voice and it was like I always use like I would always use like a white wall of sushi um and I think it inspired me to even start the channel because like I like how you know she makes really cool characters and I, I like doing that too but um you know she doesn't need a fancy background you know or anything like that like I love when she posts on the on the wall like this is a school or something like that it's so funny um so she's like definitely someone that has inspired me to even start um because i i mean and i just noticed like you don't have to do only one kind of thing like you can do so many versatile things with an asmr and yeah so definitely her. okay guys i hope this was fun i'm gonna go i didn't want to make it too long um i have some more videos coming up i have i think i have three on my so that's one. <laughs> uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for.